A viewer recently made a request that I do a video on using overlays in VR. So here it is. If you have any other suggestions, drop them into the comments below. Then subscribe and click that bell to get notifications when your video is posted. Now come on, let's go. All right, so the apps we're going to work with today, Race Lab apps and iRacing Auto Pit Stop. Uh, this Auto Pit Stop has a VR headset mode. It automatically loads into VR. Pretty awesome. Don't need to do anything else except turn it on. It gives you the fueling information in there. Uh, so look at that in a little bit. I have to worry about it right now. We will be talking about overlays in Race Lab apps. So to get the overlays, you, there's a little bit of setup done first. You need to pick which overlay you want to use. Uh, the one I like to use is standings because that gives me pit stop time for people around me or the leaders if I'm back in the pack or whatever. Plus a lot of other information here that uh, can get kind of busy if you're racing. But when you're coming into the pits or if you just want to glance up at it while you're on a straightaway, whatever, uh, that's up to you. I like this one. To get it to work in VR, all you have to do is enable disable VR mode here. Oculus is a bit different. You have to open it in a browser. See that it opens up an empty browser until we get in game and actually can manipulate this thing a little bit, which we'll do in just a second. All right, to populate this thing, you have to jump into game, which I just did. Now you want to resize it to fit your window. Depending on the number of cars you have ahead or behind, I like to use four in the top three spots, one, two, three. That gives me an opportunity, if I'm not in the top three, to see what when they're pitting or how long they're pitting. And gives me opportunity with the four people around me to see where they are when they pit, how many laps they're on on their current stint. Once you have that sized, and I do this outside of VR, I, the window is open up on a flat screen right now. I'm not even in my pit. I'm sitting at my desk to uh, make these changes. But next we'll open it up in VR and I'll show you how to manipulate this to where you want it in the car. All right, in order to get our overlays into our VR view here, we need to open them up as a desktop panel. So we come down here to desktop panel and you want to be looking forward when you click it because that's what it resets to and then you just find the overlay in this case we're looking at the standings and you see right now it's a blank screen because I'm not in game but we can position it wherever we want with our hand you put it way out, way in. Make it big, make it little. I usually put it, put my standings right down here at the bottom, so I just glance down to see it, and I can pin it. That way, it stays when I go in the game. The other one that we spoke about was the auto fuel. See if I'm looking away, it resets everything. Come back, close. The other one was uh, racing auto fuel, auto pit. There it is. You can do the same thing with it, make it big, make it little. Maybe I'll put this one over here on the side. I normally don't use this one. I just use the overhead thing that I'll show you in game here in a second. But, so it's pinned. This one is pinned. Let's jump in the game. All right, here we are 
in our Xfinity car. You can see I've got my overlays down here. I can glance down and see, see my position. I, obviously, I use the in-game uh, relative position. But for pit stops and such, then I could move this to move this screen around. It does require you to jump back out using your controller. Grab it and just move it up wherever you want it. Turn it, twist it, manipulate it, make it bigger, make it smaller, and make it a little bit bigger. Down a little more, and it's still pinned. And I go back to the game. And there's my screen. Take a look how this fuel thing works. Give us a few clean laps to get our fuel numbers. This is my first lap with this setup. Obviously, it's a little bit loose for me. But I are FFB and I'm able to save it. I'm going to push it quite as hard. Because all we're looking for is the numbers. our fuel numbers. There's our position. that I don't have the uh, fuel information up at the top of the screen. It's all down here. I'll pull into the pits. Pause that for a second. I'll jump out. I can manipulate this. VR mode on. All right, and now, see, with that minimize, that gone, we have it up at the top. Make another lap. All right, as I come across the start-finish line here, we get the information up at the top. I usually set it for about 20% after the start finish line so that I'm not looking at it through the first corner. But those are settings that you can play with yourself. 20% usually puts me on the back stretch 
If you like this content, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already to see more content like this. Help spread the word. And as always, thanks for watching.